Hello, hello everyone. Oh my gosh, I know I was on here yesterday live training, but I just got off a mindset call and it was so good. We all know what we need to know, but sometimes that self-doubt comes in and you just need somebody else to kind of like slap you around and tell you what you already needed to, you already knew. Or at least that's for me. I I needed to repeat this because this was so good and I hope this helps somebody. So let me know in the comments if this is something that will help you. Of course, have to. Hello, Heather. You cannot win the game by staring at the scoreboard. So I just had a mindset call with a guy because I was letting him know that like, oh, I, I ran all these numbers for like collagen and I think I could like my goal. Okay, honest. My goal was to hit purple by November. And I'm like, oh, but I could probably hit black. But you know what? Like, you know when you write out all those numbers, but you're like, yeah, but like, but I can't do it. Like, that would be fun. That'd be cool. But you just don't have this belief. And he was saying like, why are you staying at the scoreboard? Like, stop. Like, you need to divorce. I've heard this so many times. And I don't know why I didn't hit, it just hit me today. You need to divorce the result and marry the process. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm not even two weeks into my 90 day run and I'm, on, and I'm already going like, oh my gosh, like why isn't I blown up? Why have I not sold a million dollars? Because I am not marrying the process. I am so focused on like the result that this 90 day run is going to give me that I have not taken the time to enjoy the journey. I really loved his analogy. Now, I know nothing about sports and especially football and American football. <laughs> but he was saying the Patriots, they have Tom Brady on their team. The rest of their team is not like amazing players. They have one really good player. And the best way, so you, the day after the Super Bowl happens, you have to work the whole entire year and there's 35 teams and only two can go to the Super Bowl. Now, if anyone knows more about football, maybe you could jump in in the comments. But the way they have been able to get to the Super Bowl time and time again and win it is because of strategy, having systems in place that they focus on. They don't focus on the fact that like, oh, he's so good or I'm so good or all of these. They focus on the systems and they just focus on that. And they focus on that and they are married to the process of it and they just continue it and it's gotten them there. So I really felt like that is so good to relate to our business. I don't know if any comments are coming in. I'll do a little high. So if not, that's okay. Even if you're catching the replay, say hashtag replay. Let me know if this is helping you whatsoever. I am so big like, and I think probably why I was having some doubt today is because today is the first day in the last two weeks that I did not do my um, personal development this morning. And holy moly, it makes a big difference. Apparently Zig Ziglar says that motivation, oh, what did he compare it to? Oh, motivation is like water or food. If you don't take it every day, it doesn't work. And so you need to be doing mo like personal development every single day to get motivated. And so the whole point was just to stop focusing on the scoreboard. Remember that it is your journey. You are not racing against anybody. And I think this is my problem is I really surround myself by a lot of the top leaders so that I can just have all that goodness poured onto me and then the downside is sometimes you start comparing yourself. You start going like, oh wow, but like she already sells so much. Oh my gosh, she just sponsored all these people. A really good thing he said to me, and holy moly, this hit me. I just hit my two year anniversary and he said, do you, two years in network marketing? So do you know how long a doctor goes to school for just to then start? It's like 10 plus years before you can do it. Like you would never hand a scalpel to a doc, a person who's been school for only two years and go, hey, go ahead. I mean, maybe they cut you open, but I wouldn't want them doing surgery on me. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's true. Like there's a lot of people who have been very lucky and have worked really, really hard and jumped into this business and has soared in the two years, but that's their journey. It is my journey. And to look at it as a long-term game, you gotta work all year round to be able to get into that Super Bowl. And then if it doesn't happen that year, you keep going, you keep learning, you keep growing. But to focus on the process and what is your daily method of operation and work on that. And that's something I need to remember is that like, I need to have fun. I am doing a 90 day run with all these tasks and in the back of my mind, which is still gotta be there of like, okay, it's to sponsor, it's to sell, to do this, to do this. I need to remember that planting the seeds in my garden is fun that it is fun to be able to like plant the seeds because i know when i get to water them they're gonna sprout and just to enjoy loving on my team and loving on my audience and loving on people and just have fun 
the whole point of this business, yes, to pay bills, yes, to do all the things, but what's the point if I'm not having fun in my business? If I'm not enjoying this whole entire thing, what, I'm not gonna enjoy being at the top if I don't enjoy the process along the way. You need to be able to climb the mountain to enjoy that view, and I thought that was so good. And another thing, I will leave you with this that was so, so good. Hello, Tiffany, I know this is just topping out really quickly because it was so good, the mindset call I just got off of. Do you believe in the company? Do you believe in the products? Like, do you think this is the best like mascara ever? Do you believe in the products? Do you believe in the company, our foundation, our like mission, all that? Do you believe in that? Do you believe in network marketing? Do you believe in like it is a really good opportunity? It is an amazing industry. Those are things you cannot control. You have no control over, but yet you believe in them wholeheartedly. You have complete control over yourself, yet you don't believe in yourself? You have belief in something that like could totally crumble or mess up or have problems. And it's true, I'm like, yeah, of course, this mascara is freaking amazing. It's gonna work every single time. Like I, that's why I sell every bottle because I know every bottle is gonna work. Okay, but I can't control that. I can control myself. I have the ability to control when I do the tasks, when I send out the messages, when I go live, when I put on the products, when I do blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. Why in the world do I, I you want to believe in all those other things, but I can't control that. And yet I have like 100% faith in all of that. And so start having belief in yourself, which is what you can control. Work on your mindset so you know you're like, yeah, I would back me up because I'm a good person. I work like a boss. I would hire me. If you don't agree with that, okay, that's where you got to start working. I was like, yeah, no, it was just such a good mindset call. And it really helped remind me to stop staring at the scoreboard. This collagen launch is so, so good. I am so excited for it. Hello, Brandy. I can't wait. And then you hear all of everybody else's success. Oh my gosh, I did this. And I started panicking a little bit like, oh my gosh, like I only have this amount of numbers. I only have this amount. And it's like, Izzy, first of all, the sales don't stop on January 24th. You want to build up all this excitement, but it's not like if you don't have all the sales by that date, it's over. No, this is the whole, I got to prepare for the whole entire um, Super Bowl. If you're just hopping on, I was using a football analogy, go watch the replay because... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to repeat it because I don't know much about sports, but you work, it's not going to end. And so I need to remember that this is a long-term journey. There's four quarters in the game. There's more than just one chunk of business. And I got to remember to divorce the results and marry the process and just enjoy this business because you won't enjoy like, the view, okay, is nice. And I'm literally using this as an example for my friend. She's moving and it's really, really stressful. But I keep reminding her, like, your dream is to stand. She's moving to a farm. So she's going to plant a home. Herself. I'm like, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to be able to open them. And the whole entire, like, acres of gardens are going to be growing and you're going to be so thankful for it. If God just picked you up and plopped you at that home, yeah, it would be nice. But you'd be like, okay, cool, cool, cool. You, she's going to appreciate so much more because of the work that she's going through, that she had to pack up all her stuff, that she had to paint, she had to do all this things, she had to get ready and to be able to get there. And that's something I need to remember is that you need to build the muscles while climbing the mountain to be able to be strong enough to stay at the top. And I need to just remind myself sometimes that. So... <laughs> half of why I just came on here is to like regurgitate what I just heard so that I remember for myself to believe in myself to stop staring at the scoreboard to trust and appreciate and follow the process do the systems if you don't have the systems or you don't know because there were so many times I watched trainings and people were like yeah do the systems I'm like I don't know what the systems are so send me a message ask the questions in here this is what we're teaching our teams is you want to find and message people and track this is a huge thing we're going through with my team you need to be tracking your business because two years hit green status and I have not tracked I wrote down my customers and I sometimes wrote down the people I prospected you want to be tracking. If you walk into your doctor's office, they have all your history. They know who you are. McDonald's knows every single hamburger that they have sold because they are tracking. Make sure you're tracking your business by find and message somebody and just write their name down. I put a little check mark. And then you want to make sure every person you're asking the question to add that, track that. 
every time they respond. So if they respond and you send the uh, third party tools, you send them a video, you get on a call with them, make sure you're tracking that. Did you follow up? Track all your follow ups because then you can one, when something like this launches, you can go back. I'm going back from all the people I've ever talked to that I did write down and going, oh my gosh, yeah, like I, I talked to her months and months ago and she was somewhat interested, but she said no, whatever. I'm gonna go back and be like, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited. I'm literally like a kid waiting for Christmas for this collagen. I am refreshing my tracking every like 20 minutes to see if my collagen is gonna be here. It says it's gonna arrive today, but it's shipping and it's the postal service. So who knows if it's gonna come. So I'm bringing that excitement to all of those past people going through all of that. But then it helps you know your numbers because they all, you know, I hear all the time, like, you know, one in 10 might join, one in whatever. Mine is not that, mine is not. I'm going back through all of mine and I probably have to send out 50 plus messages before I get someone to join. But I want to know my actual numbers so that if I want to actually sponsor four people this month or whatever it may be, what are my numbers? How many people do I need to talk to? And then how can I get better so that I don't have to talk to 50, 100 people to sponsor one? So what do I do to fill up that gap? What, who are those 50 people I'm talking to? Are those, I hope it's not cold messages, but is it cold messages? Did I just message them for my stories? Did I have one conversation with them? Have I been talking to them a really long time? And that gets me another point I need, for me personally, your business and how it's worked out for you may be different, but I need to remind myself, my story is I watched my sponsor, who is now my best friend, for two years before I even commented on her. I watched her every day. She went live and I watched her like a hawk. Like I stalked her, I watched everything she did. I would literally be working in my office and when my boss would leave, cause he would be the only one that worked there, I would find her, I would turn on her like live videos and her makeup and I would be working and I would just watch her. For two years, I didn't buy anything. And just for some reason, I randomly joined. And a lot of my team members, my besides my one girl met her and we had a really quick conversation and she joined. <laughs> but my other top leader in my business watched me. She joined in September. She watched me since February. April, I talked to her about coming to convention with us. Just I wanted to be like, hey, come to a girl's trip. And I thought it would be a really great way to get her to join. June, I talked to her again about joining. July, I kept just talking to her. And so I have to remind myself again to trust the process to keep going because there are so many people watching me from when I started really taking my business seriously in March. They're still watching. There are people from like May when I hit a status. There are people from November that watched me, people that watched me. And then right now, while this 90 days, I have to remember that right now we're planting the seeds. If you're not planting the seeds, this is the time to just plant the seeds by finding people, adding them, messaging them, loving on them, plant, 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 plant. And what happens when you plant seeds? Do they grow that day? Do they grow that next day? Do they grow even a week later? Maybe you're lucky one or two will start popping up and go, oh my gosh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then they all grow. But what happens if you do one row of planting and then you sit and you water that row? Okay, and then water and then it goes pop, 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 pop. Yay! Okay, then you go and harvest all that, and a week later, now what? Crap, okay, I gotta start planting again. Or, you plant that row, and you water, and while you're watering, you plant the next row. I don't know why I'm planting in a circle. Then you plant the next row, and you water, while watering this one, and then you plant. Because I use, I can't remember who said this, I know it's someone on the team used this analogy of, if you want to be able to eat every single day, plant a carrot every single day. So every single day you're planting and watering and I'll harvest. That first, if you start today, you're gonna, and I'm really using gardening here because it, for some reason I relate to that way more than football. If you start planting today and every day from today on, you keep planting, watering, and letting it grow, you know that from today's on, you need to at least wait a little bit. And so the point, and this is literally just for me to remind myself, the point of my 90 day run is to plant plant, plant, water, 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 so that November we explode as a team. And I really liked what he said of what if, cause I told him, I didn't say what, like what ranks, but I said, my goal is to hit purple status, but I'm running the numbers and I'm like, I could maybe like hit black. And he said, you could maybe, or are you gonna push for black status? And the very worst that happens is you fall and you hit purple. It's like, 
I, yeah, I guess. Like, okay. And if we push, if everyone just pushes a little bit more in their goals, what's the worst? You push for blue and oh no, you hit pink. Okay, and then you just do it again and you keep trying. Uh, remembering that if you don't hit it, that's okay. God might have a bigger plan for you. And I am so thankful and I have to remind myself constantly of this because that woman out there that whose life needs to change, she's not even on my friends list yet. Or I haven't even gotten a message to her or she has no idea I exist. Or also too, God has this plan of I really, really, and Brandy Jo, I, she might remember this, in June I messaged her like two weeks before and I was like, we're really, like we're at 7,000 to like 7,000, we're almost at green. But my goal was not to hit it this month. My goal was to hit it in July, but I know July is a hard summer. Do I go for it? And I really tried to push. We didn't hit it. And then I pushed a July for it. And I pushed August for it. And I pushed September for it. October. All of those times, if I had hit it at any point, it would have been great. But in November, there was a bonus. And I'm so thankful that God was like, just wait. You're going to make so much more money if you just give me a few more months. And it taught me so much more. We built so much more. I was able to do it while helping a whole bunch of my team members hit pink. I'm so, so thankful. And so again, during this time, I need to remember that God is saying, just wait. You're like big, amazing. You're next. You are going to hit black size with that girl, but she's not on your friends list any right now. So you need to go out and plant those seeds. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. It just completely changed my mindset today listening to this guy talk to me one-on-one -on -one, and I wanted to come give it to you because I really hope it does help you but also sometimes what you need to do is teach what you learn because you might learn like listening to him like yeah cool 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 I didn't make any notes I would shut off my phone I would go work but by tonight for sure by tomorrow I would forget everything so I wanted to come on here and make sure that I regurgitate it so that I remember and if I forget I go back and listen and a really good thing and put an alarm, please put an alarm because I haven't done this, <laughs> to listen to it. Record yourself, make a visual and just record an audio. Put on whatever your status goal is. So I'm gonna go find my nicest black outfit. I'm gonna put it on. I'm going to get ready and you're gonna feel ridiculous. That's okay because nobody has to watch this but you. And you're gonna record yourself. The moment you refresh your back office and you hit that goal. So for me, I'm gonna re record that moment of when I hit black size. And also do an audio version. So I recorded this, I recorded a audio version of me at the end of April. And I have just finished my 90 day run and talking to myself like, holy moly, look what you just did. And going so excited talking as future me being, oh my gosh, past Izzy, you won't believe what we just accomplished. Oh my gosh, like so excited. And talk about what you're wearing, where you're at, how you feel, how much money you made, what rank you are, your team. Doing an um, audio thing is really, really good because we can do vision boards, but we also need to be able to hear it, see it, and be able to, you can't really taste and smell, but maybe taste and smell like, okay, what would you eat? What would you drink? What would be your celebration? And so having something that you can go and watch, especially those moments that are so hard to be able to go and put an alarm because I recorded that and I have not listened to it and I've struggled the last few days and so I need to go listen to that. So put an alarm and then have one for like, okay, in three months where you're gonna be, have an audio. And so these are my tasks to you. Make one for an audio for three months from now and one from when you are going to hit that status that you want to hit, have your end date. So whether that's a month from now, whether that's, uh, you know, November, whether that's, you know, an 18 month plan, please do an audio or a video of you talking to yourself. You're gonna feel a little ridiculous because you're just going, okay, I'm making this up. But it's going to really, really help if you can hear your own voice telling you, like, swear if that's what you do, scream if that's what you do, laugh and giggle and just talk about how amazing. I often go back, I am so grateful and so thankful that I went live the moment I hit green status because that, like, every time I watch it, it brings me to tears. The, that feeling of actually accomplishing that goal is incredible. Now what I should do, because I was like, you can't recreate that, that pure little moment, I should probably cut out my face and then put like black hearts and black everything and be like, that's what it's gonna be for black status. Except for I'm hoping it will not be at midnight on the last day of the month, we will get better at that. But hey, if it is, 
we still did it. So that is my task to you. Please go record those two things of you in three months and you when you're hitting that goal. Whether it's an audio or you actually get dressed up and pick out the outfit. I know what room you're going to be in. Dance, celebrate, and have a wonderful day. Thank you, ladies. Love you all so much.